There's this astronaut with an incredible story about how he overcame racism. His name was Ronald McNair, and when he was nine years old, he went to the library to sign out a book. Now, the library happened to be segregated, and they told him he couldn't sign it out. He refused. When the police showed up. They finally let him take out that book. Now, that's not what makes this story special. It's what he did afterwards. You see, he graduated high school as the valedictorian and became an expert in laser physics, got a PhD from MIT, and wound up winning five national karate championships. He applied to NASA, because why not? The guy's already an expert on all this stuff. And he became the second ever African-American to ever go to space. Now, tragically, he lost his life in the Challenger disaster. That's what some people remember him for, but what I remember him for is that library. You know why? Because today that library is named the Ronald McNair Life History Center. The same library that didn't let him sign out those books is now named after him. And if that's not winning, I don't know what is.